What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Breaking Truckers. I am Lockout Men. He's just going to break bad. In this clip, we're going to look at this gentleman with the variant tattoo to show loyalty to the company. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. By me getting this tattoo, it was a way to not only show my company that I had their back, but also it makes a great selling point as far as letting people know about my comfortability with this with this company. A lot of people are used to job hopping and just trying to find the right fit, but by me being able to show them this tattoo, it's like saying, hey, I found where I belong. It's good enough for me, it's good enough to provide for my family. I'm comfortable enough talking about my company because I believe in, in what, I'm, what I'm working for. Emotional damage. Okay, drivers, let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Have you? been so loyal to a company to a company brand that you would get a whole logo tattoo of the company that you drive for on the back of your neck i don't know if i would do that i actually i don't know if i would get any company that i would drive for logo any part of inked on my body I mean, for whatever reason, the company could go out of business, you could get fired, or you can find a different company that pays you more. Now, Variant, I have very different opinions of that company. Would I go as far as getting a tattoo? I don't think so. But this, the guy in the video says his loyalty is to the company. He wants to show how much he appreciate the company. By me getting this tattoo, it was a way to not only show my company that I had their back, but also it makes a great selling point as far as letting people know about my comfortability with this, with this company. A lot of people are used to job hopping and just trying to find the right fit, but by me being able to show them this tattoo, it's like saying, hey, I found where I belong. It's good enough for me, it's good enough to provide for my family. I'm comfortable enough talking about my company because I believe in, in what, I'm, what I'm working for. Emotional damage! Now, this is not the first driver that I have seen done this. Couple of years ago, I found this driver. Prime Inc. Huge! bold tattoo on his arm and i had the pleasure of talking with him you could check out that interview i will leave the link to that interview in the description below make sure you check out that interview and why that driver chose to ink his arm up with prime ink these drivers man i i, I don't get it i don't understand it here's another driver with ink variant on his arm in the description it says how do your drivers show brand love ours are definitely committed we asked nathan douglas his inspiration behind his ink and he told us i got it because variant is my home and i plan on retiring here I truly believe in Variant's mission to re-engineer the industry, our values, how our drivers are treated, our office management, and support we get while we're on the road. Now, strong opinion of this young man with the Variant tattoo, but there's been plenty of other drivers that don't feel that way. So before you go and get yourself inked up, make sure that that's the company that you're comfortable with. Let's jump into the comments. This commenter says, Variant is a piece of shit. I'm sure he's not alone with that sentiment. This commenter says, yo, I'm so sign me up. Yes, sir. Get that tattoo. Walk around saying that this company right here is the best company to drive for. This commenter says, damn, that nose is brown as brown as can be. 
Mm. This commenter says, bruh, man, I would never lick a boot this clean, bruh. <laughs> this commenter says, this happened at my old work. Buddy was so proud of it. Then the company sold to a bigger company. Then it was sold again. And the logo was dropped and their name changed. Now he just stuck with a memory. Exactly. What happened if the company goes out of business or anything of that matter? You're stuck with the company's logo etched on your body. Mm. This commenter says, fucking idiot. Probably gets $10 an hour. This commenter says, I think this guy is a, you know, the rest. This commenter says, a condom would have prevented this post. <laughs> this commenter says, that's going to be a problem when he goes to see our England. Comments from the internet can be savage. What do you guys think, though? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you very loyal to the company that you drive for to the point that you would get the company's name and or logo tatted on your body? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man Podcast.